Yes, I do. <laughs> How do you manage to blow up a demo? <laughs> <laughs> right. Uh, who's this here on a Galaxy J1? <laughs> <laughs> uh, who's this now with the Galaxy J1? We need to know each other most. This one is just saying Galaxy J1. It's who's me. This? It's Kudzi most. Hey, Kudzi. <laughs> I think he's having sound issues. Let's just wait a bit for the other guys to join because it's just the two of you right now. Let's just give them like maybe two. It's Kudzi. Yes, Mr. Kudzi. Ah, I'm going to stay. He always seems to be like in a rush, Kudzi. What's wrong with you? <laughs> Nah, I just want to know, you know, most. Ah, it is, uh, <laughs> it's not like a... <laughs> let's, let's, let's just wait for the other guys to join because there's only the three of us at the moment. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. Yeah. It's fine. So, so we are going to be looking at... Uh, okay, okay, sure, no problem. GP card, NZ, JPY, and uh, USD card. Is yeah, you, yeah, as you guys suggested, yeah, the setups look good, but there's a lot to be considered there. Hey, Mr. Skumbuzo, welcome, my brother. You can't hear me, Skumbuzo. I'm here, yeah, I'm here, I'm that's here. true, that's true. How's it? How's Swaziland, my brother? Swaziland is very cool today. How is Cape Town? Ah, uh, Cape Town is alright, my brother. <laughs> Can't complain. All right, how's the cold day? Ah, uh? the cold. How's how's the cold? How's the cold treating you? No, it's not cold here. Yeah, it's very hot. Very hot. Yeah. Ah, uh, then you should come this side. Uh, this side is okay. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Okay, let's let's get on with it. GP cat. I'm sure you can all see my screen, right? Yes, yes. yes. So, yeah. Uh, Cape Town is what? Like something else here, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be coming there in December. I hope it won't be cold. I don't like cold places. Nah, it's going to be hot. It's going to be hot. Okay, let's <laughs> let's get on with it. The other guys, they will join later. Or otherwise, they will get the recording. All right. Uh, GP cards. This one was suggested by Kudzi. Right, what I'm seeing at the moment, uh, price has just come off uh, a very strong resistance level. It didn't manage to break that level. If you see that level there, the 1.72800 level, price, they, it tested that level, but it couldn't break it. But now, uh, the issue that I have with GPCAD is Brexit, guys. Yeah, the technicals might be aligning and all that, but with Brexit, you never know what's going to happen. That's the main reason I'm not liking this pair, because of Brexit. Yeah, at the moment, it has retraced back. If we jump into the H4, you can see it has retraced back to like 50% of last week's movement. Can you guys see that? GPCAD has moved almost 50% of this move from last week. So there's a 50% retracement there on GPCAD. Now, that 50% retracement, can you see what it's doing? It's testing this supply here in the market. There was supply. This is a supply level here. This, this, this. So this point where it is at the moment, if technicals are to go with the price, I expect price to meander, meander a bit, and then it retest this level. Because the 172800 17, hasn't finished yet. It has to go back up here to this two-month high. You see this high? Market still has to test uh -huh. this high. Do, do you understand what I'm saying, Kudzi, in regards to this supply here into the market, this institutional selling that happened here? you understand what I'm saying? Okay. Yes, yeah. yes, yes, yes. Yeah, so if you put your fibs 
from the low of last week to the high of last week, you can see that there's a 50% retracement that has happened on GP card. And it's something, okay. that, yeah, it's something that you have to consider now if you're gonna make an entry into this uh, pair. But now the only issue I have with GP card is Brexit. We don't Brexit. Know, yeah, we don't know what they're gonna say tomorrow. You see what happened on Friday? Yeah, on Friday, yes, yes, yes. yes. Yeah, because That's of why that, I was asking you. Yeah, because of that minister who just suddenly resigned, GP card fell. So we never know what okay. the market is gonna do next. Yeah, the fun, the technical may might be might be correct. You see, the technical side might be correct. We can expect maybe to fall like this. But okay, the, okay. with the Brexit now in play, this market can shoot in the opposite direction. Okay, okay, okay. Because I, I checked on the daily chart most. So yeah. I was thinking it's going to go down. Yeah, on the daily chart, it's saying it's going down, right? You see, this is a daily chart. You see, this is a daily okay. chart. This is a daily chart of GB card. But now, the moment you open ah, it, nice up, one, nice one, nice one. You see, the one thing you have to take note of: the moment you open a chart, right? Look where price is, and then just look to the left of the chart. Yes. Look to the left of the chart, and then you see if there's any okay. interesting levels. To your left okay okay you see this level here where it is currently yeah yeah now look to the left we've got this level we've got this level yeah we've got the other level at the yeah. same time yes you see so those levels they have to come into play when you're doing your analysis so now once okay. we, yeah. once we have noted those levels i'm gonna jump down to uh h4 then you can clearly see there is institutional buying here, institutional selling. Like big guys, they were selling here. Okay, big guys were selling there, yeah. Because most people, you see, you see what most most traders would have done there. They've they would have also sold was of this level. You see, everyone would have sold here yes, and yes. the market to go down here. But look what it did. It went up. Oh, so the big guys are the ones who caused. Exactly. Okay. So from from a higher time frame perspective, GP card is still a very yeah. strong uptrend right now. Well, it's still going up. Yeah. Okay. okay. Because this this is to me the way I see it, this is just a correction. Just a correction. In the market. Yes, yes. You see? Because if you look at weekly. Weekly for GBCAD is bullish. Yeah, it's bullish. It's yeah. going up. It's going up. And it's coming right from that uh, 1.6680 level. Last week and the previous week, let's just say uh, beginning of November, it has lift off from a very strong uh, support level. Let me, let me go down to a... Uh, let me... Let me go to a weekly. Uh, you see, this is a weekly time frame, right? Yeah. This is two weeks ago slow. This this is last week. So two weeks ago. Yeah. So now we are in a strong bullish uh, market. Weekly momentum is bullish. So we I'm expecting price to retest this. High of last week. Yeah. 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 Those highs should be retested. But now, Ish, I'm not. I'm not really sure about uh, GPK because of Brexit. Anything can happen on GPK. You see. So it's no, only different. fundamentals are taking place. Yeah, and most of those fundamentals for Brexit, they just come unexpected. You see. Out of nowhere. Yeah. 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 But at where the price is at the moment. We need to consider this institutional selling here. We need so to we must wait for that level. Yeah, let's let's wait and see yeah. if it does break that level. If it breaks it to the low, to the downside, then we can expect bearish movement up to these lows here. Okay, okay. You see? Ah, but nice if, if it fails to break here, if it ranges, ranges, and then 
close above than we expected then, yeah. just the high of last week. Okay, okay, okay. You get my point, right? Yeah, yeah, I'm getting what you're saying. Yeah, that's basically what I'm seeing on uh, JP card. Now let's go to NZJPY. Right. Regarding NZJPY, uh, last week, the New Zealand dollar was one of the strongest currencies. The reason being, uh, the reason being the job, uh, the job results that came out on, uh, when was it? Wednesday, the news report, I think it's Wednesday. It's like the NZ economy, it gained. You see, that's why, that's why, yeah. that's why the New Zealand dollar was so powerful. You see, it rallied all the way up. Okay. Right? But prior to last, to last week close, Thursday and Friday, there was a correction in the market. Now, let me zoom in, then you can see. All right. So, what I'm looking at, NZ, uh, JPY, uh, the ideal setups at the moment is a long position. It's, it's good to look at for, good to look for buy positions on NZ, G, NZ JPY. But from which level? From this level here. This. Yeah, the one is big day. Yeah. Then we start looking for bullish movements all the way up to these highs here. Because we can, you can clearly see that this candle, it broke this high, it broke this high, and closed above. So the bulls are still in in power. The bulls, they've got power. So this, so this big candle is just because of of the of the fundamentals, like for the NZD went strong because of yeah, the job report for NZJPY. Let me see if I can get it quickly. It came out positive. That was the job report for NZJPY. It's sort of like the equivalent to NFP, but for NZJPY. Okay. You understand that part, huh? Yeah. Let, let me see. Let me see if I can get the, the news of last week. Uh, where are we? I need zero five to eleven. Apply. Uh, NZ, 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 NZ. Tuesday. Uh, I think Wednesday. Uh, now where is that news now? I'm just checking to see what the report said. Just a minute, guys. Just a minute. No, I just... mm -hmm. So this is eleven zero five. Right, you see that news for NZJPY, the one on uh, Tuesday, sixth of November. There was the NZJPY employment rate uh, report. That. That's yeah. the one that caused this move. It was also helped with the interest rate decision of the NZJPY, which came out Wednesday, like 10, or 10 in the evening. I'm sure you noticed that. 
So now, in that sense, looking at those fundamentals, we can clearly see that the market has now broken this level, this level, it now broke it, it's now, it broke it and closed above, but there was a correction. Can you hear me, guys? Yes, yes, I hear you. Yes, I catch you. Yeah, so now the bulls are in control now. This market, the bulls are in control. So where do we look for longs? We look for longs on this level here, the 76. Uh, okay. Yeah. The 76, 300 level. That's where we look for long positions. Uh -huh. And guys, you need to understand when I say we look for long positions, it means you need to go back to that. Uh, remember the market structure document that I forwarded to you guys. Uh -huh. Right. On that uh, document, there's a... Uh, there's patterns that shows price continuation in a direction, say a bullish continuation, a bearish continuation. So those are the setups that you'll be looking at on this chart here. You'll be from here on this level here, we need to be looking for bullish price patterns to go higher. Up to which level? Up to the previous highs. Look to your left, the previous highs. You see, market has to go test these highs. Mm -hmm. Do you see it? Mm -hmm. the, the moment market comes back to this five year support line, the moment market comes here, then we look for long positions all the way up here. Okay. You get my point, Eddie? Yes, yes, I have it. Yes. Yeah, I don't need you to blow it. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I was doing a little Yes, Kuzi. I wanted to ask that five-year line. You, you so you are, you are saying it's a strong, it's a strong support line. Yes. Or, because it's going to come back up. If it if it comes back to that level, you look for bullish continuation patterns. You see, the moment price comes back to that level, you start looking for bullish continuation patterns, or you start looking for bearish momentum to like fade because bearish momentum will fade towards that level. Because if you look at it, let me go to a this is, okay, okay. This is D1, right? Let me go to a weekly chart. Look. Look, look that level now on a weekly chart. Look at it. It's this, this level here. Look at it here, here, here. Then market range all. The, so when market comes down to this level, we are looking for long positions, but to where? To these highs. Okay. You get it? So the bulls are in control there. You can even see those two previous weeks. The bulls are in control. Yeah. Bulls yeah. are in control. Yes. So now what we need to do tomorrow and uh, no, not tomorrow. Tuesday and Wednesday. Remember what I said, guys. In a bullish market. In a bullish market expect the law of the week to be formed either on Tuesday, London Open, or during Wednesday, London Open, or London Close. So the lowest point that we are going to get between Tuesday and Wednesday, that should be our entry to go long on NZJPY. Okay. Do you understand that part? In, yeah, a, yeah, yeah, yeah. in a bullish market, right? In a bullish market, expect the law of the week to be formed during London Open or London Close or on Wednesday, 
during London open or London close. That's when they're gonna move that price to its lowest point of the week before they rally up. You, you get it, right? Yeah. Look, look what they did Sometimes last week. Sometimes are also very crucial. Look, look what they did last week, right? This is last week, right? Uh, right, this is last week. I think so, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, this is last week. Last week, so I need uh, six or seven. This is last week, I need six or seven. Right, this is six. You see, this is Tuesday the 6th, right? Mm. Look at these laws. Look at this law. Yeah, obviously, market opened lower. But look at this law here. And then you tell me what time did it happen. Let me put my case there and then you can see. Yeah, it was probably like 7, 8 o'clock. That's towards London Open. That's when they make that law. That was Tuesday in a bullish market. Look at this law. Did they ever? Did the price ever come back to there? Never. It never came back. Nah. You see? And then it moved all the way up. Price never came back to that Tuesday's law in a bullish market. Right. You need to take note of that. So the opposite applies for a bearish market. If market is bearish, expect the high of the week to be formed Tuesday or Wednesday during London open or close in a bearish market. But now NZJPY is bullish, right? When it's bullish, what do we do? We, ex we wait for price. See, like this coming week, let's wait for price to come down and form a law, either Tuesday or Wednesday, then we go long. You close that chart, you look at it on Friday. You see? If your stop loss is hit, yeah, then the stop loss is hit. But your analysis should be important. You should, you should trust your analysis. You see? <laughs> because, yeah, it's, it's going to take some massive news to break this Low. This low here, it's going to take some time. See? That law of Wednesday, it's going to take some time to clear on uh, NZJPY. So, you mean the, the one below the big candle? Yeah, you see this one? Yeah, the one which was broken. Yeah. That, that law is going to be difficult to break. Even this guy, this guy, this five-year support line, okay. it's going to be difficult to break. You see, that's why we have to look for bullish price movement here on the five-year support. We need to look for bullish patterns to go long. And we look for positions to go away. And what will be the target? These levels here. This will be the target. The 77 level, 77, 700, 77, 800 level. That's your target. So, Ivan, what are you saying? You are saying that we should wait for uh, uh, for the low of the week to be marked first. Before yes. We long. Yes. You see, as it is right now, it's risky to go long. Yeah, because it might fall. You, you don't know where it will bounce. Exactly. Because the price right now is in no man's land. If price was here, if price was already here, then I was going to say, guys, let's put buy orders there. Because market is closed now. Let's put buy orders to go long. You see? If price was there on that gray line. But now price is in no man's land. You can't really go long here. It's risky. You get it, Skumbuzo? I get you. I get you very well. Yeah. So it's price is in, in no man's land at the moment. Yeah. 
it's in no man's land. You can't really, unless if you want to scalp, if you want to scalp, yeah, then you go down, say H1, H2, but you can even see clearly now. Look at H1. There's no clear direction where the market is going there. Is it? Yeah, it's difficult. Yeah, it's very difficult. But me, I, Ivan, I wanted to ask on the on that daily chart, no? Okay. Like, let me, uh, uh -huh. On the daily chart, are you go? It's it's looking like it's going down. For it's Friday, it was going down. Eh? Yeah. You said it, it might buy, bounce on the five year, five year, right? Yeah, five years. But my question is, it uh, it might also break it. So if it break it, we must go down also and do time. We we'll go on timing on seventy five, seventy five five hundred around there. That's why that's why the next bounce is if it breaks the five feet. Right. You see, you see, you see why why the mar the market dropped down choose uh Thursday and Friday. Yeah. Do you know the reason why? What's the real reason? They they couldn't keep pushing the price up. Market has to correct. It can't just keep rising, 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 rising. Let, let me give you a good example. You see here, you see here, where I've marked. Yeah. Now look at these two bearish candles. Look okay. at those two bearish candles. Yeah. You see? Yeah. And then it opened, it went up. Okay. The only thing I would have said, okay, let's look for bearish patterns. Is if the market had closed like this, you see this candle here, this bearish candle. Yeah. If this was Friday, right? I was gonna say no. Yeah. Let's look for bearish patterns. Bearish patterns, okay. Yeah. But as it is now, you you can't look for bearish patterns. You look for bullish patterns from a strong support level. Support, okay. That's okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Now you, you see, <laughs> because. If you see now, this is four hour. I've done. I've yeah. jumped down to a four hour chart. Right. Uh, this is four hours. Okay. Okay. Now look. Look at this. Look at this candle here. Why the hell do we have this candle here? Enticing people to go short. That's what happened during that four hours. Now imagine how many people went short there and they put their stops above this high. I think that's what I did. Do you Damn. get it? <laughs> no, yeah. That's what I did. <laughs> Do you get it? Now you see, yeah. you see you see this you see this bearish candle here. Yeah. Imagine at one point it was like this. At one point during those four hours, it was like this. Yeah, obviously. Maybe the first hour, the first two hours. Exactly. Now, how many people went short during that four hours? <laughs> you see? And then prior, yeah. prior to that four hour close, you see, they cleared this high with this candle here. They took them out and then they went higher. Okay. But it went high. Nice one. Eh? You see? So that's the thing, because look at it. If you look at this market, uh, if you look at it from a say H4 time frame, where is price moving uh, more pips? Is it moving more pips going high or is moving more pips going low? Is it? Going high. You see exactly. Going oh, high. The, yeah, the market is moving more when it's going high than when it's when it comes down. That shows you a clear, strong uptrend. So I'm sure NZJPY is clear now. That's nice, nice. Awesome. Yeah. NZJPY is clear. So long positions are ideal on NZJPY. I'll also be looking out on this one. When I make my entries, I'll just give you a heads up to say, okay, I'm looking at going long here. Okay, nice. Yeah. So that's NZJPY. We are looking for longs there.
Now, let's go to Skumbuzo said USD card. U USD card. Yeah. It's good, it's not Skumbuzo. <laughs> oh, I don't know who suggested this one. I can't. Yeah, it's you. Could just go all the best, my bro. <laughs> <laughs> Because this got all the best. <laughs> okay, yes, the cards. Let's see what's happening here. Yeah. Right, this the dollar finished the week strong. The dollar was a bit strong. That's why I also exited my USDCHF trade eventually. Yeah. Uh, let's see, let's see. Hey, but wait is also. <laughs> It's at a very difficult position because this thing moves. Too much. Yeah. yeah. The opening price is going to be critical. The opening price for USD card is going to be crucial to how we look at this market next week. The opening price is going to be very important because where it is right now, ish, uh, I'm really it's not sure. Yeah, I'm really not sure. I don't know if anyone can suggest some. George. What have you got to say regarding N USD cards? There's George. There is George here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, don't just. Yes. Can I say? Let's look at weekly. Weekly. Uh mm huh. -hmm. Right, there we are on weekly. Yeah. Yeah. Last last week the dollar finished very strong. Uh mm -hmm. That's 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 weekly for USD card. Okay. What What do you think, George? It, it finished very strong. It was going up. Yeah, so it not. Um, maybe. Wait a second. Hey, can you draw a line from? Am I able to draw a line here? <laughs> you see, you see one one thing, guys. We have to, we have to master. The moment, the moment we see ourselves struggling, looking struggling, at yeah. on a chart, then that chart is not right. Go to monthly. Right. Yeah. Mm. Uh -huh. There is monthly. We just opened November now. That's monthly. The moment I see myself struggling to come up with a setup on a pair, setup, yeah, you don't have to force you, it. Yeah, you run away. <laughs> yeah, I just <laughs> because because if you look at daily, you see. Yeah. Can you see the rejection that happened on Friday? The way it rejected this level here. Mm. Yeah, that's why that's why I was asking because it, it's looking like it's it rejected. Yeah. You see, it, it rejected right, but now if you look yeah. at the candle, if you look at the body of the candle, the bulls are in control. <laughs> it's bigger now. Yeah, yeah it's the booze. Uh, you see, the power. Yeah, the booze. The booze are in control. So, it's a bit risky, man, to to go long on such a level, unless if this price had closed above here, if this candle closed here, mm -hmm. you might you know it, it might go up. Yeah, then we were looking at long position to test these highs. Yeah, but what, what was going? The reason why I asked you. Uh, uh. I, I went on a 30 minute chart then I I was uh, I saw like it I drew a trend line sort of um, so I was thinking it it was going to go bearish you see on a 30 minute chart on a, 30 and minute. On a daily it, yeah on a 30 minute okay let and me, on let a daily it was yeah let me go to a 30 minute chart and see just check 30 minutes All right, this is 30 minutes yeah. yeah. Can you see the way momentum was fading there? <laughs> Can you see how momentum was fading? Mm. Yeah. yeah. Bearish. We got bullish. Bigger bearish, bigger bearish. But last one was a smaller bearish candle. That means downward momentum was fading. Right? Okay, okay, uh -huh. okay. Downward yeah. momentum was fading. Now, if you look at the market structure, look at the market structure. Right. This is 30 minutes. <laughs> George, you see? Mm -mm. ICT, smart money concept. There we go. <laughs> there we go. Look, 
look at the laws that I've marked. What happened mm-hmm. before those laws formed? Market corrected, shoot up. Market corrected, yeah. shoot, up. shoot up. Market corrected, shoot up. Now we've got a market correction. So it might shoot up. It might shoot up again. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, shoot up and, and, and stay where? I think if we look at daily, then we can see where it can. Okay, let me, let me go to a daily and then we can see. So you see that uh, that gray line on the resistance level, my resistance level there on daily. Yeah. For those who are risky, those who want to take a risk trade, it's good to, lo- to go long to that level there. Yeah. But it's risky. That's the thing. Yeah. It's a risk yeah, trade. It's a risk. Ah, so it's yeah. better. It's a risk trade. It. And USD card. Because yeah, that the uh, that, that one is to be played on them. Yeah. Now, now the moment because the thing is, once you start looking at USD card, before you even take a position here, you need to look at uh, dollar index first. Yes. Where's my dollar index here? Uh, who's this? JV Markets. Where's my dollar index? Yeah, that's crazy. How come I don't? I, how come there's no dollar index on JP market? <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't have dollar index on JP market. Okay, let me see. Let me see. Uh... Check for pasta. Hey, but this dollar index thing, like, how, how do you use it? I've never really checked it out. Like... Oh, my brother. <laughs> My brother, hey, <laughs> what are you? What are you doing? What are you doing in Forex if you don't know what to do with the dollar index? Yeah? <laughs> when you're saying dollar index, what do you mean? Like, no. <laughs> you must tell me. <laughs> <laughs> let, 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 let me see if I can get my papers to the chat. Open. Well, Ivan is looking for papers. The dollar index represents the dollar against like the other major currencies, so it's just the dollar. On its own. So if the dollar is the bullish, power. it means if the dollar index has strength, you will realize that um, then the pairs that are trading against the dollar, it means you'll find that the dollar is winning against them. But if the dollar index on its own is weak, is weakening, you'll find that even if you go to the other currencies that are pairing with the dollar, they are powerful against the dollar. Okay, yeah, yeah. On that one, I, I, I use I use, I, I use a website which, which has social currency strength. I'm not sure if it... Mm, on the currency, remember the currency strength meter um, yeah, is showing I like huh? the New York, I mean, I'm sorry, it, it, it's showing um, the other pairs, yes, like Japanese yen is strong. Um, yeah, yeah. Uh, what else? Um, GBP, British pound is strong, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Is it different yeah. from dollar index? Because I use like for a uh, Finvis, it just shows me like the dollar is strong at the moment. And uh, this is strong. What is strong? All right. Can you see my uh, dollar index chart, guys? Is it the purple one? What? Uh, which chart what? are you? We are just seeing a bull and a bear on a very fancy background that is purple. <laughs> and now? <laughs> yeah, now we can see it. Now you got it, eh? Yeah, it's rushing yeah. to that strong resistance there. The dollar is strong, guys. Mm. Yeah. At the moment, the dollar is strong. So oh, in this... You see? First, going for that resistance on top there. Dollar is strong. Look at weekly. It closed above uh, those highs there. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dollar, dollar is very strong. So it's critical to take note of this. Yes. That one, yeah. yeah. You see? The moment it closed above, if it closes above this level, dollar can go all the way up here. So the dollar is very strong. 
So what, what happens now when the dollar is strong? Expect all the pairs that have got USDX, USD, and then the other pair, whatever it is, to be going higher. The dollar is going to be gaining value. I'm expecting the, on, the, on this one, just sorry to just, I'm expecting the GBP USD to be going down, yeah. which means the, the, the dollar is stronger than the GBP, the pound. Me, I'm not even going to lie to you guys. I'm not even going to lie to you guys. British pound pays, I'm not even going to look at them. As much as they pay good, I'm not. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I had a bad experience with Brexit. <laughs> A while ago, so I'm not gonna be. Is <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's 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 my own opinion regarding GBP pairs, regarding mm -hmm. the correlation it has with the, the dollar. I'm not gonna look at it. Mm -hmm. Look at it. Look at you. <laughs> so coming back to coming back to our. Who is, who, is, uh, who is this thing now? Let me see. Let me see. Because I think... The dollar, yes, the card. Yeah, I, th I think dollar index is going to explain also much better what, uh, what I want to tell you guys. Uh, uh, where is the screen tool now? Yeah. No, I don't even know what I'm sharing. So, You're sharing... Uh... Can you see JP Market? You've got what? Dollar index. Uh, yeah, we've, okay, maybe it's still going to show. Now, now you should have USD card. Yeah. Now you've got USD card, right? Yes. Right. Now, the strength that happened with the dollar. Yeah, US dollar card. Yeah. The strength that happened with the dollar prior to last week close is the one that caused this bullish move. Right? Okay. Now, this is what? This is USD CAD. Now, if you go to USD CHF, if you remember, I was in this trade here. Uh, eventually, my trailing stop got hit. So I made a couple of dollars there instead of making 2000 prior to this law. So the, the dollar definitely gained value you see? Okay, okay. Yeah. so now uh it's it's very crucial to look for like a close a break and close above this level on usd chf and uh a break and close above this level on usd card for us to confirm bullish uh, movements for us to to look for longs price has to close above that level okay but it 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 hasn't closed yet no 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 it it uh, went to that level and then the price rejected yeah so we must wait for it now yeah you see okay this is a bullish market is bullish right now when it comes to dollar pairs even the dollar index market is bullish. The dollar is strong. So what, when the dollar is strong, bullish market. The same thing that I was explaining. The bullish market. Let me go. Let me see. This is seven. Right. Seven. Seven November. Seven November was Wednesday. Wednesday. Right. Look. Nice. Look at this slow, guys. You see this law? Mm -hmm. Can you see it, Kuzi? Yep. Mm. Uh, Kuzi, are yeah. you there? Can you see that law? This law? Okay, I think I've lost you guys. Are you there? Yeah, I'm yeah. listening. We can see that law right. and that. Market, market market was bullish right go to a weekly chart usd card bullish weekly order flow right this is precision tools from ict george 
the bullish mm. weekly order flow expect the law of the market to be formed during london open yes, yes, or yes, london yes, close yeah. Wednesday or wednesday right mm-hmm. now yes, look at this law look at that and that wednesday that's wednesday exactly london close four o'clock mm. london close price rejected what a two months strong support level strong support level can you see this level here mm mm-hmm. mm mm-hmm. price totally rejected that level i see it you see okay. now look last week that was the law on wednesday london close did price ever came back to that level never it never, never. you see never came back it never came back to that level now tell me how many pips are there 164 my, pips in two my, days my goodness look at look look at that long 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 thing on what day was it that day in the middle the this day that's, that's 8 november mm yeah that was Thursday. now look what was that was it news or something yeah this was news it was uh, something to do with uh, i think it was the core news or something the cpi if i'm not mistaken Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but now look. Look look how many points yeah. it moved. 160. Yeah, obviously you won't get like the exact 160. You probably get like yeah. 140, 150 and then you are out of that position. And yeah. that's just combos. Uh, <laughs> trying to trying to have every pip there. Don't start mm-hmm. with combos now. Don't start with combos. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Fundamental people out I'm buying guys I'm buying. <laughs> <laughs> so guys, you see now if this if the dollar remains strong, right? If the dollar remains strong. Let's let's look for long positions Tuesday or Wednesday, depending on where the price is now. Because where price is is going to be very important during mm. those days it's not just a case of saying okay let's go long we go long no let's look where price is before yeah. we go long on this day. because dollar index is going to be very crucial to this setup yeah yeah so that's 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 the only way we need to be in the market Okay, okay. Right. You see you see this is this is weekly, right? This is weekly. And then I go to day. Right? Now, and I go to H4. Right, H4. You see here. Yeah. Let me go to H1, H1 here. Yeah. This was Wednesday, right? So that you see clearly what I'm trying to say. I'm trying to say uh yo this mic of yours george it captures everything that i'm talking about here you know most quality yeah yo, quality this mic of yours ah, network <laughs> Right. Look at this guys. Uh look at this chart here. Where are we? Right. Now, what is this? This is two. Two. When was the second? Mm, that was Friday. When was this? When was this? Where am I? Friday, Thursday, Wednesday, Tuesday. Monday. Okay, this was Tuesday. So this is now. Uh, let me see. Let me see. Mm. You see these highs. This mm-hmm. high. <coughs> And this high, 
You see those yeah. highs? Yeah. Expect those highs to be tested in this coming week. Price to test here. Yeah. Okay. The moment the moment it does that, then we start looking for bullish continuation patterns. Mm. The moment it retraces, because this retracement is not yet 50% of this move. Expect the price to make a retracement of at least 50% of last week's move before it rallies up. Mm-hmm. Where's my fib? Let me see. Where's yeah. my fib? Where's my fib? Okay, this is last week low. You see, it's not even yet at 23 or 38%. So expect price to test those previous highs there towards the 50% retracement before it shoots back up. Yeah. Yeah. So that's a USD card for you, Kudzi. What about yeah. you, Jay? You, Jay? Mm-hmm. Ish, the beast. Why do you, why why is it you <laughs> like you like those major things? You huh? <laughs> <laughs> Jay, okay, let's see. Let's see. Let's see what they say. Where's you Jay? Where's you Jay? You Jay. And the the moment that if the dollar keeps going on strong, then expect JPY to lose power. <laughs> it's simple as that. Mm. You see, but if I'm not if I'm not mistaken, Thursday or Friday, both of them they were weak. Ah, no, Wednesday I mean, which was very awkward to see the dollar, the yen, and the gold weak at the same time. The yin and the yang. Yeah, it was very. It was very weird to see the dollar and the yen and the gold weak. I think it was Wednesday. During those election, whatever thing, the dollar, the yen, mm-hmm. and gold, yeah. they were all weak, which is awkward. Oh, well, that was crazy. Yeah, it's 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 really not. Uh, it doesn't. <laughs> yeah, it's it's not right. Something wasn't right. <laughs> you see. So I'm expecting. So I'm expecting the one one four to be tested. That one one four level, but it can't close above there. No ways. Mm-hmm. Yeah, JPY has to come down now because if we are expecting bullish momentum on the dollar index, JPY has to come down. Mm-hmm. I was expecting to test that one one three to 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 test that one one three before continuing. Before continuing up, let's let's see mm-hmm. what the week what the week is saying. Now nah, it's it's still gonna go up. Yeah. Yeah, the the one one four level is still in its sight at the moment. Mm. Yeah, because you see this uh these two bullish candles. Mm-hmm. They can't just come down instantly like this. Yeah, it did happen here. But can you see we had the three horses there? So I'm expecting the third horse coming up here. You know the candlestick pattern, mm. three horses. Mm. Uh-huh. You don't know that one. Three horses up, then it comes down. Three horses up, comes down. Three horses down, comes up. Mm-hmm. So, 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 so it's better for us to wait for confirmation. Oh. This one, you need to look at how the dollar index opens. If the dollar index keep pushing up, then look for shorts on the USD JPY. Nice. Yeah, because most 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 uh, uh, institutions. They're gonna be selling uh, USD JPY because JPY is the safe haven currency, most you know. Most. Yeah. Yeah. But I'm still expecting bullish patterns here. The three horses have to confirm. You see here, George. Go to your yeah. one hundred one. Candlesticks one hundred one. Candlesticks one hundred one. It's called the three horsemen. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it still has to push up. So yeah, this one and four level. That's seventeen years there. Yeah, that seventeen year resistance line. 
at mm-hmm. that level now, then we look for shorts. For shorts, okay, okay. Yeah. That's what I wanted to ask. Yeah, yeah. And it's 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 easy for price to touch that that level, especially USD. Yeah. It's very easy. Even on weekly, same thing. Yeah. You see, this is this is H four. Momentum was dying down. Yeah. Uh, you see this. Yeah. So a break and a close above. Obviously, my trend my trend lines are not accurate, guys. There, but you can you can. Yeah. Let, let me let me see if I can put trend lines on the H four. Yeah, they're just rough guides. Obviously, you can see what I'm trying to do. They're not like. The moment price, uh, mm, the CH1, yeah, or 15 minutes or close above here, look for bullish. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, you see, mm. because the same thing happened. Can you see here? Yeah, it broke, break and close above, break and close above, yeah, break and close above. You see, mm-hmm. then it's going higher, 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 higher. Yeah, obvious. On yeah, uh, obvious. this is H four, right? The more you yeah. go, the more you go to a down tra- uh, lower time frame, the clear it's gonna become. Yeah, go to fifteen. Fifteen is too low, my uh, bro. That's scalping areas, my bro. Yo, <laughs> looking for entries. Obvious, looking for entries. But now you see, this is fifteen. Obviously, my trend lines are not accurate, guys. So you can. Mm. You can make entries, uh, trend lines that are more accurate on your side. But you can see what I'm saying now. The moment it closes yeah. above this trend line here, then you look for long positions. But to where? Mm. You see? To where? To here. To that yeah. high. You see? The moment price close above here, look for long positions to here. To the, to the yes. You see, that is if if you are gonna be on the chart looking at the price all the time. So this is fifteen mm. minutes. Things can change drastically in a short space of time. <laughs> yeah. You see, <laughs> things can change drastically for you in a short space of time. But now, four hour a break a break above and close. Look for long positions. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's 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 USD JPY for you. I see. Yeah. Right. Kuzi, any questions? Uh, uh, I think I understand what you're saying. But also, yeah. I wanted to ask, like, uh, the, you were saying, you were saying trading on a fifteen minute or whatever. Uh-huh. One hour is scalping, right? Like one hour. It, it it depends with your target on that hourly time frame. It depends with your target. Because one hour, we're probably going to call it day trading. That's not scalping. That's day trading. Because day ob- trading. Yeah, obviously, your target your target is going to be a bit higher. You'll be looking at a target. Maybe that's going to be achieved in like two, three hours. You see? But on 15-minute time frame, obviously, you're, you're looking at like short moves that are happening in the next two, 20 minutes, 30 minutes. Yeah, fitting the proc. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and the and the, ah, but but now, I, mm. and 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 the now worst thing, the worst thing about uh, lower time frame yeah. is spread. The spread will kill you also. But now, if you look at positions from a higher time frame, yeah, you you don't you don't really worry about the spread if your analysis is uh, to the point. If your analysis comes good, then you don't worry about the spread because you're gonna cover it up. Okay, okay. Yeah. So, so every so so the, the for your strategies to be much stronger, you definitely must look like from from each and every time frames, like daily time frame or one week time frame, just to change uh, the string. Top down analysis is very important, Kuzi. As, as in, uh, very important. Yeah, you look when when you when you open a chart, don't just go straight to say thirty minutes or one hour. Start with the weekly. Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. Because ever since I've been using it, it's, it's, it's doing okay for me. Uh, did you watch that uh, 
the folder that what I uploaded, the precision, the precision, the precision series. Did you watch that one? Yeah, yeah, one? yeah. Yeah, that guy he explains it much, much better. Much, much better. I'm still, I'm still watching it because I started with the institutional order flow. That one. Yeah. Put on YouTube. Yeah. The okay. Other one for market structure. Okay. For Google Drive, yeah, but I'm, I'm, I'm on the iPhone now. All right. But I'm, I'm improving. Yeah. Hey, yeah. George's cousin, are you there? Any questions? <laughs> no, 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 no questions for now. No questions for now. Uh, Mr. Skumbuzo, Mr. Skumbuzo, I, I really want to hear your input, my guy. <laughs> You're too quiet for my liking. <laughs> yeah. Okay. What 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 I was trying to understand, okay, it was uh, 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 those trends that you just put there. Yeah. I was suggesting that one when you said if uh, on the for our for our chat. Yeah. You said that. Uh, you said that if it close, if it breaks and close above, yeah, then we go, we go long, we go long, yeah, to that. But it's just hidden that okay. I see, I'm out of it, yeah. I'm still digesting that, yeah. I was still trying to understand, but then as you, as you look back. Uh -huh. The same pattern was happening, yes. whereby it was breaking and closing above, and then it rallies up. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I know. If you understand, my brother, that's that's the most important thing. <laughs> we 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 just need to help each other so that people understand. Exactly. Yeah. Because the other interesting thing also, UJ, George. If you look at UJ, look where mm -hmm. price price is playing around that one year support level it broke above that level that's the mm. one year support level yeah my guy how do you make the the template of showing those all those support uh, my guy <laughs> I, got, I got skills my guy you don't know me nicely eh? here's a template <laughs> no they they are dynamic they change you see this is a daily time frame it's now showing showing me three years and one month look if i go to h1 they're dynamic mm. see where price is ah. at four day support level <laughs> it's called working smart don't not working hard yeah. <laughs> so now if, is, if you go to a daily you can clearly see is it daily no h4 you can clearly see that price is playing at a one year support level now if i zoom out look look where price is Obviously, it's not going to be clear now because we have zoomed out quite a lot. So it simply mm. means that support level was being hit for one year or what? <laughs> like, it has come... No, no, no. That, that, it means that support level has been there for one year. It, it hasn't been broken that much easily when price is there. Oh! Yeah. <laughs> Did you download it or something? <laughs> <laughs> you need per, you need copyright permission. I no, think guys, you this, this, is, this is support and resistance from point zero, guys. I've never mm. really seen it on a meter trade. It's my first time. So that's the thing. Look where the price is. Uh, uh, let me zoom in now because it's too. Can't see. We can't really see. So if it closes below, you see, if price closes below, then expect it to come to these highs here. Mm -hmm. You see this? Yes. If it closes below. Nice. Yeah. You expect price to come down. But now, look at this. You see this? Okay, let me clear up a bit. You see this? Now, look at this. Can you see that same pattern is happening there? Can you see that? The same pattern is happening there. The same pattern yeah. that happened, I think it was 4th of October, whatever it is, here. It's happening here. 
and it's happening at the same price level. You see? But now, in this case here, in the previous case, you see price closed below. And then what they do the next uh, 12 hours, they rallied up, they retested it again. And, when and, they, and then retesting. they trapped people. You see, they trapped people with this. Then market tumbled. Yeah. And Peter? Yeah, that's why it's very difficult to enter like now. You wait for the break. You see? The moment you get a very strong bullish four hour candle breaking uh breaking above and closing above here. The moment you get let's say a candle like uh maybe this one here, or maybe like this. You see, then you look for mm -hmm. long positions to this level here. Okay, okay, that's what you're saying. You see? Because as it is right now. Most people there, they'll say, okay, no, let's go short on you, Jake. Mm -hmm. Can I ask this question? Yeah. Uh, 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 I'm sorry, maybe to check you guys have this backwards because I'm still new. Uh, what really determines the short and long? What determines short and long? Yes. Okay. Uh, Obviously, price where price is trading at. If price is trading at a support level, you're definitely gonna be looking for longs. If price is trading at a uh, resistance level, you're going to be looking for shorts. You see? Please, please repeat. If I have to write that one down. If if price okay, a good example on UJ this chart that we've got right now. You uh -huh. see. You see there where I've highlighted. Uh -huh. Let's say in that case, this market had come back again to this level here. Were you going to look for longs there? No. Uh, no yeah. You would look for shorts to go to the downside. Uh -huh. Right? But now, where market is currently, is at a strong support level. So we need to look for longs to go higher. That's what determines whether you're going to go short or you're going to go long in the market. It's where price is at the moment. If if we go back to, I can't remember, is it USD, NZ, KPY? Which one did we do first? Yeah, I think it's this guy here. Where we were like saying price currently is in no man's land. You can't really know. Yeah. I can't remember which chart was it. Yeah. Uh, go back to the... It's JPY. Yeah, NZ JPY. One. It's this guy here. Yeah. Uh -huh. You see? If, if you were looking at the chart when Price did this, this doji here, whatever it is, I don't know if it's doji or whatever. Were you going to look for longs there? When you've got this, no, no, you look for shorts. Shorts. You get it? Okay, yeah. I get it. Yeah, but now if you look at it, where price is right now, price is here. It's clearly in no man's land. We don't know whether it's gonna go up or it's gonna come down. So we need so to, wait to wait for it to test either this level or this level for us to decide whether we are going to go long or short. Okay. Yeah, but now in the case of the NZJPY, the moment price comes down to this level, that will be 50% retracement of this guy here, of this huge bearish bullish candle. That's 50% retracement. So it will be best to look for longs from this support line to where to here. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, to determine longs or shorts is where price is currently trading at. You can't determine to go uh, long when market is at a resistance level. No, you can't do that. 
you can't you can't decide to go short when market is at a support level you can't do that unless if you've got some inside information of a currency pay that is going to keep falling yeah then you can go but looking at a chart if market is at a strong support level then you look how price is behaving is momentum diminishing is it still strong going down you wait now you look for continuation patterns to either go long if it's at a support level or to go short if it's at a resistance level You get it, eh? To write that down. So that's 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 the whole idea. You see here, you see my uh, three-year support here on this NZJPY. This one here. When you see price coming down there, then you say, "I ah, know I'm gonna sell this pay." No, you can't sell it there. You have to buy. You have to look for longs when it gets to that level. That's, yeah, what, that's what determines shorts and longs in the market. I hope I, I, I managed to explain it clear to you. Yeah, nice one. Yeah. But, but, but me, I would, I'm going to try to look for this. This what, what, I don't know what you call it. <laughs> what is it? Three yeah. years. <laughs> it's, it's it's just. I asked George about this thing. He didn't. He didn't, he didn't have answer. What is um, that? Bro? Is it an indicator? <laughs> <laughs> That's an indicator. Uh, you guys, <laughs> guys, this is this is just a support and resistance level indicator. <laughs> That's it's not normal, bro. Did you put it on your own? <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, guys, is there any questions that we have to go through? Because I have to bounce now. Uh, me, I'm okay. Thanks. Eddie. We appreciate, bro. Thank you very much. Where's my brother, Eddie? Eddie, are you there? I'm there. I'm there. I'm there. I'm there. Uh, my brother, how did you blow up a demo account now? Yeah? I'm planning to, 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 to create another account. The one which I had was <laughs> <laughs> what 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 happened? What did you do that blew the account? I, I was I was expecting Big lot. to put teams. Huh? Big lot. Twenty minutes, twenty minutes, twenty minutes. Then they blew up my account. Ah, uh, my guy, how can you blow up a demo account, my guy? I was testing, I was testing something. Man. I was just trying to do something. I hope I hope you learned something from that. Definitely, I did. Yeah, that is the most important thing. There's no problem in blowing up a demo account, but as long as you learn like what made you blow it up, then you yeah. don't repeat the same thing. That's what's important. It's a demo account. You can always open another one. <laughs> what I'm planning to do. <laughs> yeah, true. <laughs> yeah, you, you just have to learn through it. I know someone who lost a lot of money during NFP when he was sleeping. <laughs> he was awake. <laughs> Serious. NFP. <laughs> Hey. Yeah, he's there. He's there. Are you popular? He's there. He's right here. <laughs> yeah. Back in the day, 2015, the day. Baba. What was it? 2015, 2014. Yeah. 2015. Yeah. So that's about it, guys. So we've got NZJPY. We've got USD card and GBP card. Actually, it's 2014. So in the coming week, let's just uh, look for opportunities on those three pairs that we have discussed. They're actually good setups, though, but we just have to be patient with them. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just going to yeah, wait. Yeah, we have to yeah. check what's going on. Yeah, I'm just going to wait for market open, and then I see uh, if there's more opportunities that we can uh, take advantage of. So I'll be just posting also in the group. Yeah, thank you yeah. very much, Mr. Ivan. Yes. Yeah, well, Mr. Yeah. <laughs> no, <Forex> uh, killer. <laughs> no, man, I'm not. I'm not a forex killer. That's what I mean. <laughs> I'm. I'm not even uh, there yet. <laughs> Tell him, George. I'm not. <laughs> you, you, you'll see guys on Facebook saying that broker killer, but that's over the hundred dollar account. <laughs> yeah. No, uh, me. I'm not that. I'm sure you know that. <laughs> And then you can get surprised which broker is being killed by hundred dollar. 
<laughs> yeah. Anyway, guys, I think that's much about it for today. Sure, my guy. Yeah. Sharp gents. For those who, for those who are gonna need a repeat, I'm gonna upload this uh, soon. As soon as it finishes rendering, I'll upload it on YouTube. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, cheers, guys. It was nice having you. Also, keep well, my brother. Thank you very much, bro. Yeah, keep well. Don't keep don't blow that don't blow that uh, demo account, ne? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, guys. Risk management, guys. Make sure. <laughs> yeah, risk management is important. Don't don't be like that other guy who was posting a trade with five lot size. I don't even trade five lot size. <laughs> that's that's not cool. That's not cool. It's not right. Right. Anyway. Yeah. Risk. We chat. Shop, shop. Yeah, we chat tomorrow, guys. Keep well. Thank you very much. All right, Kuzi. Cheers. Shop, shop. All right, Eddie. Uh, yeah.